The Beatle is out now, but only on PC. Don't worry, it's coming soon. What's going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, we have 21 mods for you for all platforms. We have five new and eight updates in PC Mac. We have six new and two updates. One thing I want to let you guys know before we get started, the Beetle in front of you is only out for PC as it sits. However, the creator, Adam Kong, has said it is still in testing for console. So don't worry, it'll be out soon. All information? Let's check everything out. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the Irmo Diablo SPEV pack from the SMI modding team. Some of the best, most realistic modders out there. And, uh, well, you can tell that, can't you? Look at the detail on this thing. It's absolutely incredible. It's not big. 3.9 meters. It's pretty rough on power. 400 horsepower. 9 miles per hour. So, you're not getting a whole lot as far as uh, quickness or... <laughs> Putting horsepower down, that's pretty rough. But you get a lot of detail, a whole lot of detail. So you got multiple different colors through here. You can do white or black rims. You can do white or gray design. And then main design, well, you got the 3.9. You've also got a little bit longer. I'm not exactly sure kind of what's going on here. See, that's uh, what, six shares, and this is seven shares. So you've got a version that's a little bit bigger. They're both saying 3.9 meters. Uh, however, it looks like this one is 4.5 as per the website. So that is nice to see. Do we have any more? We do. We got one more right here. We got a larger version, 5.5 meters. Um, this one is asking for 500 to 600 horsepower. Keep that in mind. We'll set up so you've got Lizard and Trelleborg, and so you can choose whatever you like through there. A whole lot of power needed for this. A little bit ridiculous, but hey, it's the SMI Monic team. The detail is there. Next new mod for all platforms is Sheep Husbandry with straw and manure. That is right. So this is going to cost you $195,000. Daily maintenance of $180 per day. Capacity, $500 cheap. Thank you for that. Got a little bit of an opening right here. Don't want to let the sheep out too easily right there. Uh, what else do we have? So since the horse extension gives sheep the opportunity to litter straw and get manure, they have converted uh, ASM. They have converted the horse extension and uh, made it work with sheep. So there you go. If you want to use the mod on other maps, they say other maps, other maps, you have to change the husbandry XML. So why is this on console? That's a little bit confusing. There's another one that we got today similar to this that's only on PC, but um, it's out now. Maybe check it out. Check it out on a test map so that you don't break your game. But uh, yeah, cheap stuff. Let's go. How's about a large enclosed shed that actually looks like something modern instead of all this stuff that says modern? None of it is. This is, though, I'll tell you that much. Uh, you got a couple big garage doors on this bad boy. You got one right here. You've got another one down here, both of which could be opened from the inside or the outside. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for including that. You have a door that's actually door height instead of one that's like as tall as your player is that barely fits through. You know, kinds of stuff here. Do we have any lighting in here? Let's turn on our help window and find out. Recess. See, that's this closed door. Let's see, we do have lights above, so this is based on a real-life modern American building. The building can be used for whatever necessary for your farm. Price $75,000. Season's ready, uh, but doesn't say anything. Aha! Lights on. Let's go. So it's just a on and off type thing, but hey, I'll take that. This is a beautiful, beautiful barn right here. If you guys are down with more like something that looks like it was built today, this is the one. Next, we have Medium Garage, and this is interesting, and I'll tell you why uh here in just a moment but as of course going around we've got this uh this brick texture not really a fan of this i don't think it looks very good but you know nonetheless kind of is what it is wood texture is a little bit interesting on here as well uh but this will serve the purpose i don't know i think it just kind of looks a little cheap but um interestingly if i go in here and put in medium garage i have two of these why did we once get this as a new mod and now we've got it again as a new mod, but they're totally different. 
Um, let me know if you have the same thing. I, makes me curious a little bit. And your last new mod for all platforms today is decorative bushes. These are objects used for decoration. So they are, in fact, objects. So you can come down here, place a few of them down. They are the same bushes that you would see if you were uh, over on the side. And I imagine, oh, these have collisions. That's not good. Normally you'd run over these and be totally fine. I'm curious. Let's uh let's try something real quick. Where's where's the bug? Here, here, let's get the off-road version. Where are the bushes? There they are. Is this gonna like throw this all off or will this drive straight through it like it's no big deal? Yikes! That's not a good thing to have on a bush. Uh <laughs> I don't think these are supposed to have collisions on them. That's odd. <laughs> Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today, we start with Rustic Acres from Cas64. This is going to be version 1.1. Eight crops have been added. They are millet, coffee, sorghum, rice, mustard, and rye. Root crops are carrot and onion. He also added his original animal pens, or open animal pens, and sheds to the map, and free water by the pond, by the horses, and up by the sawmill. We've got a big update for Homestead Economy. This is going to be version 1.002. New game save is required right off the bat. They say that road network has been redesigned. New loading screen farmland layout has been redesigned. Updated PDA. New pig shed has been added. Sheep pasture moved to the farm. Cows and pig fence has been replaced. Map lock redesigned. They've also ordered available on meadows. I don't know what that means. Cane crop has been removed. New bunker silo has been added. Sugar beets, potatoes, and container silo has been added. Decorative developments have been added overall. One delivery point has been removed. Farm has been redesigned. Land prices reduced. Season sport updated for grass bushes sport. And correction of translation errors at an animal dealer. Oh yeah, big update right there. We got an update to the SAC S780H from the SMI modding team version 1.0. Point one, fix the AI with and minor fixes and improvements. Next update is going to be the famed A plows, AKA automatic plow, but there's nothing automatic about this. You have to do every bit of the work and it's an update. Changelog 1.001 added working animation. Did we not have that already? And an update to the ESNR17 Cultivator from Blue King. This is going to be version 1.001. Add a color option. And they are all the colors. We have the original color. Plus, you can add whatever you like. This is how you make mods go from, oh, it's a nice mod, to, ah, sweet. You can make it match anything. If you got a small John Deere, go with a green. If you got a small pink tractor, go with a pink one. I love it. Next update is for the Tractor Triangle Pack version 1.3.0.1. But unfortunately, it doesn't say what the update is. So uh, we got an update. Check it out. Your next to last mod update for all platforms today is the Case IH Puma CVX 165 from STV Modding. It's going to be version 1.2.1. Fix the light skins, everything around the lights. You've also got fixed some parts and various bugs fixed overall. And we finally have an update to the Massey Ferguson 7700S, also by STV Modding. This is going to be version 1.4. New color design. So if we go into design, you've got a couple different things through here. Chrome grill looking good. Main colors. Well, basically all of them, don't we? Oh, yeah. We also have new tire configurations. Uh, we have trailer board, Michelin Midas, Nucky and Tires, trailer board. We have standard wheel weights, wide tires, wides with weights, rear twins, twins all the way around. Back to standard Michelin tires. We have standard wides, wheel weights, wides with weights, back to standard. And a Midas tires. We have standard. We have wide tires and back and forth between those, including the knock-in tires. What else is there? Well, we have new interior designs, so uh, you'll have to just check those out. And here we have a black, ooh, gray. I don't understand that. Why is the top changed to black when it's gray? So you can either do black interior with white top or gray interior with the black top. So you can make that change it up however you want. New rear lights and various bugs have been fixed. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today, we have Shamburg Valley, which is already out on consoles. Has been for what, a month plus, something like that. This is a totally imaginary place from Shaba, in which you will be the owner and lord of the farm, where you will have to worry about bringing your lands to the highest yield. You will have silos and warehouses to store all of your crops and products to improve the performance of your land 
In addition, you have the challenge of giving life to four large animal stables located on the map. Apart from the cultivation of tomatoes, is a great novelty on the map. You'll be able to enjoy dairy sheep. Yes, you read that correctly. Sheep's milk. Oh yeah, so treat them well. All of this can be done in new farmer game mode. The map uh, <laughs> tents are pre-installed farms in new farmer mode. You've got four pre-installed animal stables for uh, cows, horses, pigs, and sheep. Again, this is all in new farmer mode. Do keep that in mind. 50 fields total of all kinds of sizes and possibility of joining a lot of them together as you've been able to see. What else you got? Well, you got eight forest areas of various sizes, winding terrain, and great decoration. Three silage bunkers. Hot air balloons that say giant software on them. Let's get away from that. That makes some noise. You also got a biogas plant, biomass bunker, great variety of points of sale for all of your products. Purchase point to take all your fields to highest performance. We're not done yet. Oh, we're not done yet. More than 20 factories have been integrated into the map thanks to the fill type converter script. Storage for bells, big thanks to object storage script. New types of crops. You've got vehicles adapted for the cultivation of tomatoes, carrots, and onions, and all those are separated, which is absolutely wonderful. We'll show you guys all of that. We've also got support for Seasons Mod, DLC add-on Straw Harvest. Uh, you have support for the multi-terrain mapping, or your own terrain mapping, and precision farming. And there's even a version that works with Maze Plus on PC. Does it have everything? I, th I think it kind of does, doesn't it? You got all kinds of stuff that you could do on this map. It's insane. Here is your PDA. When we're starting off, you don't have a whole lot. You have field 30 and you have field 29. What is in those? By the looks of it, it's uh, oats, I think. Maybe colors are a little off, but I think that's oats. Maybe that's uh, barley or potatoes. I'm I'm not 100% sure on exactly what is in those fields. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's bar. I think it's oats. So there you go. Here's one of your farms right here. You got all kinds of stuff, man. This place is absolutely massive. Uh, if you go in in vehicles you're going to have Schamburg equipment this is going to have equipment that's going to work with everything that you've got going on so if you want to do some of the extra stuff that's on here this is where you're going to want to go in tools there's nothing there however in objects we've got some more stuff you've got consumables so you got all your stuff through there and you have little things like this stuff right here um so you have plastic boxes and you've got transport pallets just things to make life easier here on this farm but that's not all. You've also got all of your factories in one place, or at least some extra ones. So you have your compost, you have seeds, fertilizer, and organic fertilizer all in one place. Those are your factories. It's real cool that they did all that. Now, this or this version is saying all platforms online. So PC, Mac, PS4, Xbox One. I'm real curious to see if the console version has all of these exact same things. I know that it's got a lot, but I'm not sure if it's all exactly. Either way, this thing is crazy. And if you love Shabba's maps, you're gonna love this. Your next new mod for PC and Mac players today is gonna be the Big Pig Enclosure. This is gonna cost you 195 grand, 120 bucks per day, 300 pigs. It is animal pen ready, lights, manure system ready, and straw can be processed in bells or as bulk like normal. This is by ASM, so the same people that did the sheep pasture for console today. Um, which leads me to believe that maybe that one wasn't supposed to be released on console since none of the features that I know of of that mod are available for console players. So again, just be careful if you are a console player listening to this right now. PC players, hey, got something new to play with. I like this. It's very good. Next new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Unia Cut L and XL. So these are going to be new disc heroes. Interestingly, we already have a Unia Cut L that has the same customization, but is what it is. So you could go with a tubular shaft. The L is going to be 120 horsepower, required 3.9 meter at 10 miles an hour. And your XL is going to be 120 horsepower, 3.9 meters at 10 miles per hour. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you've also got hitches for, uh, for the back as well, which is kind of neat. I think that's a hitch. Kind of looks like a hitch. I'm not sure what else that would be. All right, next new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Beetle, the AWM Beetle from Adams Kong. Now, remember, this is still in testing for console players. It's just, uh, I think it was just released early uh, for PC and Mac players. So don't worry, 
it is coming you should be seeing all of the same features as well through here so this is the 60s model rim color we have all of these through here we're just gonna stay well we'll do a pink just to see kind of what it looks like but we'll stick with the white main color you can see we've got all of these as well we'll change it up to yellow just so you could see what does change but keep that original color and then design color that's going to be your interior color beautiful by the way i mean the the way that this gleams is just there you go license plates we have no license plate number one two three four five six eight, uh seven eight nine and no attachers no trailer hitch yeah hey, so we have a trailer hitch on the back if you wish uh wheels so it will cover no cover and a couple different ones through there so we have four different rims for you to choose from tension belts <laughs> yeah so you can actually add a roof rack that has tension belts on the top very cool there and then the engine we have a 46 horsepower and a 52 horsepower engine moving on to the 70s model now this one's changed up a little bit as you can see we have more colors now however we don't have any rim colors those are just kind of what they are license plates i imagine are going to be exactly the same which they are attachers trailer hitch same thing through there auxiliary headlights this is new so we have round headlights square headlights or none we'll set up so we have standard we have a wheel cover which is kind of similar to the first back and forth between those tension belts yes or no so that is a different rack with tension belts still and then we have a 52 58 horsepower engine moving on to the 80s yeah main colors yep main colors are changed up again through here so that's kind of cool i like i like the re added realism between these license plates all the same attachers trailer hitch or not you have auxiliary headlights which are round square or none tension belt sport yes or no that's going to match your 70s on the top and then we have a 58 or 70 horsepower engine so as you can see the engines are slowly making their way and then we have just a fun one right here this is the dune buggy the beetle 4x4 uh this one you can see the different color options that you have to choose from there roof rack no model one model two which these are gonna have different lights or none now you're not able to strap anything down to the top it just has that spare wheel on the top attachers nope trailer hitch so you've got that if you want wheel setups you have uh basically what looks like a knock-in or a midas tire let's keep those in mind exhaust we have model one and model two i like model two and that's it <laughs> this is 150 horsepower so it gets up and moves just a little bit better and as far as i can tell the sounds are different between these as well at least from the 60 70 80s versus the 4x4 so if you like these go check them out again console players keep an eye out because you, you should see these soon there's nothing like happy sheep and that's exactly what we have next for pc and mac players we have the happy sheep farm this is from snm modding this bad boy right here that's the uh the manufacturer uh this bad boy right here what do we have happy sheep farm price of two hundred and ten thousand dollars daily maintenance 400 fits 488 sheep stable buildings were changed lights were added decoration was installed this sounds like an update uh but this is a brand new mod snow has been added to the roofs and objects uh, straw bell trigger was added as you can see right over here on the second shed this one right here appears to just be somewhere where you can park your vehicles things like that um this is animal pen ready horse extension ready and seasons ready <laughs> it's ready baby let's go and your last new mod for pc and mac players today is sleep anywhere this allows the player to sleep anywhere on foot no matter where you are so this in conjunction with other mods like the sleep anytime mod boom this is you do slay down anywhere and take a nap uh you are going to hit left shift and the letter z as in z to go to bed <laughs> there you go and lastly today as was mentioned we have two mod updates for pc and mac players the first one is the euler edk 45s this is going to be version 1.1 ladder platform is now foldable with symbol ic very cool and your last mod update today is the zune hammer sk pack version 1.2 added the adapter for the zoom hammer font and my description version has been increased likely to 53. well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you enjoyed today's new mod video if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel also for, the, also for those of you on pc 
go check out my community post that I made last night. I found a way to revert back to an old version of Windows so that you can actually play your game. I am back to playing 60 to 144 FPS at 4K, depending on the situation with G-Sync and V-Sync and everything working the way it should. I know a lot of you guys had problems after the most recent update from last week, so this will fix it, I promise. I'll be set. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you guys later. Peace.